Hello CCL Sports Cards fans, welcome back. Today, I'm going to tell you which cases I have begun to stock up on and why. If you've watched some of my more recent episodes, you know that I'm a huge fan of buying wax cases. And as a review, this is to override my own arrogance in believing that I'm smart enough to pick the top prospects in every single product in every single year. Sadly, this is not possible. Or if you have figured out how to do this with great accuracy, please share. Some of our best prospect ideas or investments will go to zero. I mean, scouts get it wrong all the time. However, picking our favorite prospects and speculating is fun. So I say, keep doing it. The hope remains the same as well, that our big wins will pay for the losses over time. But I also prefer to have some safer investments that may lose value over time due to the hobby continuing to cool off or print runs rising. But these will most likely rise over the longer term because supply will slowly decrease and with time, we begin to see which prospects become tomorrow's all-stars or future Hall of Famers. I'll say it this way. Take a look at 2017 Bowman. When this product dropped, Ronald Acuna was most certainly not the chase. Do you know who was? Number one international signee, Kevin Maton. Now, when 2017 Bowman dropped, a jumbo case set you back roughly $3,000, give or take. It now costs $18,500, largely due to the superstardom path route that Ronald Acuna is on. That's about a $15,000 rise or a 500% return on your money. All you had to do was not open it. Yes, yes, I know, but what if there was a red Acuna inside? The answer is, I don't care. I do enough gambling on prospects as it is. This is rooted in less aggressive approach that will require discipline. You can really see this in many products as well. 2018 Bowman Draft, which costs less than $3,000 on release, will run you about $6,500. Or even more recent, 2020 Bowman, which cost around $3,000 on release, and will set you back $6,500, if you can find it. So, as I alluded to in Let's Make Money in Sports Cards, we don't know which product will be best and will feature an Acuna, or even further back, a Mookie Betts. It still blows my mind that he was a fifth rounder. So, I recommend buying a little of each. If you don't have the means to buy full cases, buy a couple boxes and don't rip them. So, as promised, here are the cases I have purchased as of January 25th, 2022. Number five, a jumbo case of 2021 Bowman Draft. This set me back $3,100. And as a side note, the online chatter is that this product's checklist stinks. But it only takes one Acuna or bets to make it great. Just saying. Number four, a jumbo case of 2021 Bowman, which set me back $3,700 thanks to the wonderful selection at Dave and Adam's Card World. Loaded with guys like Blaze Jordan, Maximo Acosta, I mean, you name it, it's a great checklist. Number three, a hobby case of 1997 Bowman Chrome. Now, this is a bit different. This was the first year Bowman Chrome was released, and it features rookie cards of future Hall of Famer Adrian Beltre and the late current Hall of Famer Roy Halladay. This was more an investment I made that seemed cheap relative to supply and contained so many other great stars that have since retired. It set me back $2,400, again, thanks to Dave and Adams. It's a total bargain in my eyes. Number two, a 2020 Bowman Draft Jumbo Case. This one set me back $5,200. Well, there's a lot to like in this product. I mean, just look at my most recent reveals. This is still very much a wait and see, but still priced well and roughly $1,000 below 2019 draft and $1,300 below 2018 draft. Lastly, number one, a jumbo case of 2020 Bowman. This product is loaded. You name it. Anthony Volpe, J-Dom, Bobby Witt, Robert Pawson, who could be really good but had a really poor showing last season. Not to mention second-tier guys like Bayron Laura, Everson Pereira, Miguel Vargas. It's a massive prospect list. And to me, well worth the $6,400 it set me back. So all told, I spent about $20,800. It is highly unlikely I will rip these. They will remain stored and continue to be more of a hedge against my own ignorance in believing I can pick baseball prospects, prospects 
any better than my cat. As well thought out as I think they are. So there it is, folks. I hope you enjoyed the share. Thank you for watching and thank you for the increasing subscriptions. And please share if you think someone in your universe would benefit from what I'm saying. Have an awesome week.